Hi everyone, today we're going to explore the Winter Physical Literacy Kit. Just as literacy development encourages and promotes lifelong reading and writing, physical literacy works on supporting the development of skills, knowledge, and attitudes necessary for lifelong, healthy, active living. This can be done by introducing young learners to physical activities, such as balance and movement exercises, which can help to develop healthy, ongoing habits. This kit is available from member public libraries to borrow to support programming or become familiar with items before purchasing ones of your own. Let's take a look at what's included in the kit. So the first thing you'll find is a resource folder, and this will include instructions for some of the items. Next, we have eight snowball molds. So these are clamps that make snowballs from the snow. Next, we have two pairs of the Snow Stompers snowshoes. So this is our smallest size of snowshoe. Then we have two pairs of the Monster Tracks snowshoes. And then finally, we have two pairs of these lightweight snowshoes. And these are 21 inches in length, and they hold from 50 to 180 pounds of weight. They also have sharp edges on them, so watch out for that. This is the Trail Flyer Toss Game. These are a variety of animal snow molds. Uh, this is our snowman decorating set. This is the snow sculpture bag where you can make giant snow sculptures. These are snow brick molds. There are eight of them included and you can build forts with them, uh, among other things. And then finally, we have eight turbo carpets. Let's go over how to use the items. There are a number of different snow molds, including animals, bricks, and snowballs. The snow mold can be used with a variety of snow types. Simply press snow into the mold and it will create fun shapes or you can build snow forts and do some outdoor decorating. The snow sculpture bag and snowman decorating set can be used separately or together. The sculpture bag is a long cylinder shaped piece of tarp that has a zipper. To use, roll the bag down and fill it with snow, patting down as you go. And then once filled, remove the bag using the zipper. The snow chunk can then be sculpted into anything you like. So in our example, we left it in its original shape and we added the snowman decorating kit. We have three different types of snowshoes available. And the first are the snow stompers. These are recommended for ages five and up and fit up to a children's boot size five. The stompers have straps and clips to go around your boots and they include a flat bottom that has dinosaur tracks that imprint into the snow. Next are the Monsta Tracks snowshoes, which are recommended for ages six and up and are good for all shoe sizes for kids up to 80 pounds. These include straps and they have a pointy bottom that is a little sharp to the touch. And last are the lightweight snowshoes. These are 21 inches in length and can hold weight from 80 to 150 pounds. Similar to ski boots, they have retractable straps. The bottoms of these have sharp edges, so please be very careful when handling. They come in a blue bag as well, and that's to help prevent the sharp parts from doing damage. There is a trail flyer outdoor game, which works similar to a cornhole toss. This is where you toss bean bags into the holes for points. There are six bean bags included and the game can be tied to a tree, or in this case, the column at the front of the PLS office. And finally, we have included eight turbo carpets in the winter physical literacy kit. And these are perfect for a fun sledding day. Please ensure that all items are dry before packing up the kit. If you notice anything missing or damaged, please contact Duncan and we will see that they are replaced or dealt with. 
For packing up, please check that everything fits in the kits nicely. I've included a couple images to show one way that the items can fit into the bins. To request the Winter Physical Literacy Kit, please check the current procedures on the PLS website under Programming Kits. If you would like to learn more about the kit or have ideas for future kits, please contact Peace Library Systems Consulting Department. Thanks everyone.